Hi everyone, this is Amy Hager here. I'm here to ask you, what are you doing to feed your mind? Okay, you guys, I've added in morning walks and meditations in the morning. Just to kind of clear my mind, I've got these headphones on. They're Bluetooth speakers and they are noise reduction speakers so that I can listen to audiobooks on my walks. And I'm listening to Atomic Habits right now. And this book is amazing. It just talks about how it's the most subtle little changes that you need to be making in your life to really have your life take off and to do really well in your life. And um, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> At least that's what I'm trying to do. But no, it is what I'm doing. And it's really exciting. It's just awesome to think, like, how can I really find success in my life? And you know, our brains are these machines that constantly need to be fed positivity. If we don't feed them positivity, we're gonna go to the dark side. So you have to ask yourself, what are you feeding your mind? You know, what are you putting in there? Are you putting in positive thoughts? Are you listening to positive music? Are you listening to things that are affirming, that are going to help you, that are going to uh, encourage you to be your best self? If not, then why? <laughs> Do it. Just start adding in like little things. Like what can you be doing in your life to add in those like simple little improvements? And over a period of time, you're going to see all of those simple little changes accumulate. And that's what's amazing. So this is my new little habit. I'm feeding my mind in the morning and I'm going on little walks and I'm meditating. I stop at the pier in my subdivision and I sit in quiet and silence and just kind of think about what's going on in here, you know? I noticed during my meditations, it's just kind of a way for my mind to organize, for me to start observing what's going on. I, I literally feel my energy settle. Like I, sometimes I could feel like I have so many different things going on and I feel the chaos, ah, you know? And then when I sit and I meditate, I feel the energy just, ah, and it feels good. <laughs> I don't know what it is about meditations, but just sitting in quiet just feels so good. And it's something that, you know, I had a practice for a while and then I fall out of it. But it's so amazing how something so simple as just sitting there in silence uh, helps to manifest so much. More cars. So. Yeah, get a morning meditation practice on. Make sure you're listening to audiobooks. So you can listen to audiobooks in the car. Think about all the times where you have like dead space or dead time. You know, that's the time that you want to be maybe putting in, actively putting in, feeding the mind. Okay. And then, you know, if you can, add in that darn meditation practice, you guys. It's seriously like huge. It's a game changer. Uh, and it doesn't have to be like crazy long periods of time. When I did it before, I was doing half hour periods, but it can be 15 minutes. You know, if you could do 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes in the evening, that's gonna be huge. It's gonna change your life. Ah, hold on, my arm hurts, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, there's something about the sunrise too. Like when you get up during the morning, you just feel really good. It feels good to have that sunshine on your face, on your body. And uh, there's something about listening to the birds in the morning. You know, just kind of getting outside in nature, breathing in some fresh air. Right now it's April, so the air is still a little cool in Florida. It's not too hot yet, but it feels really good. And I'm also kind of surprised by how many people I see out in the morning. You know, sometimes I get a lot of chances to say hi to my neighbors or people that I wouldn't normally see. So it's good. So yeah, add in some morning walks, listen to audiobooks, listen to it in your car, listen to it on your walks, and get in a meditation practice so you could start to let that energy settle, so you could start to just start to see what's going on in the mind creating an awareness so that you can create positive change in your life and start adding in those little micro improvements, those little micro habits that are going to change your life. So think, what are the things that you can start to add in? What can you add in in your diet and lifestyle, for example? That's like the most uh, 
probably the abused aspect of our life. So what can we change with our diet and lifestyle so that we can improve our life, so we can feel better? You know, for me, I'm also trying to go to bed a little bit earlier. And that's not easy in my house. <laughs> Everybody stays up late. So I have to really like be like, oh, I'm going to bed and like just let them go and do their thing. Yeah, but I, I feel like, yeah, but it just, it feels good. Like I have a loop in my subdivision. I just go around the loop. There's another one connecting to the, my subdivision. So if I really want to go on a long walk, I could go around both loops and, you know, head home. I'm set for the day. I'm ready to start kicking some butt. So anyways, you guys, get your fruits and vegetables on. <laughs> I'm going to go home after this. I'm going to probably eat a smoothie. I've got some friends coming over. My brother's coming by. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do some business stuff. We're gonna start manifesting some stuff. And I'm excited about that. So if you guys like this channel, please like, subscribe, click on that thumbs up. And you know, if you're a mom, click on the link below. I have a free ebook for you guys, Weight Loss for Moms. And just sending you guys all my love. Peace out. Bye.